So for today, we're going to be looking at Warlocks. More specifically, we're going to be looking at your Mass Effect inspired sets. If you guys don't know, we've already reviewed the armor and we have the shader video. They're both right here. Definitely check it out. We go over how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And for the shader video, we go through all of my favorite shaders because if I went through all of them, I'd be falling asleep, which is not even a joke. I've done that before. For the other videos, we have the Hunter and Titan videos already done. They're both right here. Definitely check them out. Hunters, you guys have some pretty cool sets. Titans, you have some dope sets, like some of my favorite sets that I've made so far. Warlocks, you guys are no different. Some of the sets that I made in this video is going to be super, super dope. So let me know what you guys think about some of these sets. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because I do think my content is worth it. Other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the Shadow Broker Hood. And this one, I'm going to be honest with you guys, I like this set a lot. I think it came out really, really well. That being said, I think the only piece that I would switch out would be the arms. So the Anka Seeker 4 or 5, whatever. No, 4 or 6, I should say. It's really dope. It's just, it looks kind of like, tra not trashy, but like hobo-ish when you combine it with everything else. Because the chest piece, Elective Empty Robes, looks very regal, very like bougie. And when you combine it with the arms, it just kind of looks weird. Like fucking nobleman meets peasant. And it just looks weird. For the boots, we're going to be using the Mind Strided Ornament for the Transversive Steps. And for the Bond, we're going to be using the Hex Rot Bond with the Ritualism Shader on that. And for the everything else, it's going to be Vitrified Duality, which is one of my favorite shaders. I talk about Vitrified Duality a lot. It's a dope shader and people sleep on it because that purple is so beautiful. So for this one, my whole spiel was like, I want to have this helmet give off like a very like elegant look because for me that's how i imagine asari a lot of times especially some of the asari that you meet in the game they're just very like kind of bougie so i wanted to give off that vibe especially for the helmet but let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next set we're going to be using the shadow broker gloves and bond and this one is really cool because i immediately when i saw the arms and the bond i was like oh i can combine this with the alternate conduction ornament for the geomags and then the painted Kitsune robes and the arc light hood. And it's going to look amazing. And honestly, I like it a lot. My only gripe is it's not the same effect. If you guys see the Shadow Broker gloves and Shadow Broker bond, it's more like plasma energy more than electrical energy. So for those of you who are like uber specific, yeah, I can definitely like understand why you'd be like, no, nah, it's not the same. It's cool, but it's not the same. Definitely. But for those who are like, oh, it doesn't matter. It looks cool. I... I think it looks cool. I don't think I would replace it with my like current electrical set, but it is something that I will have in the back of my pocket. That being said, you probably would want to use the arc like uh, chess piece and then the painted Kitsune arms. I think that would be a little bit better maybe, but overall I'm not like mad about this at all. For the shadering, we're going to be using Omnicronia A. I like that platinum color, like that orange color. I like that a lot, but the glow is also orange, which is why we went with that. As for the next set, this is probably my favorite, if I'm being quite honest, just because um, when I first saw the chest piece, I was like, this looks really, really cool. I'm really excited for this. And I really didn't have a vibe or anything to go with this. This one actually took me the longest, not because I was like struggling with it, but because I was making so many sets that I was like, I don't know which one I want to stick with. And the reason I stick with this one is because it reminded me of a space uh, mercenary cowboy type thing. Uh, there's a character like that in Star Wars. I don't know because I'm not a Star Wars fan, but I know of that character and it kind of reminded me of that. And I was like, fuck it. We'll go with that theme, like the space cowboy mercenary thing. And I think this one came out so cool. I want to see how this looks on hunt or on males because I obviously I don't think they're going to put boobs on male clothing, but I want to see how it looks on males. So that way I can see like, oh, does it have like male, like, like a male pecked? or a male chest piece that would be really cool but for the helmet tm moss custom hat is what we're using for the arms we're going to be using the coiled lasso ornament for the ophidian aspect for the chest piece shadow broker robes that one's very important with the thunderhead boots i think these two combo really well together because if you guys don't know the thunderhead boots and the shadow broker robes have like these lined pieces of leather and it both of them have that and i think that's the combo that makes me visually like this a lot because it looks like they 
should be like together for the bond we're going to be using the lichen bond so my like the thing that i love about this the most and funnily enough i'm using iron bone again because the, I, in the titan video i used that one on my favorite set as well but for this one it's a little bit different because i'm using it to showcase the like plate armor that being said i would i would definitely understand if you didn't want to use iron bone because thunderhead boots takes the off color you guys will notice that the plate armor on the chest piece and the plate armor on the boots are not the same color there is actually a difference there it's because thunderhead boots unfortunately takes the off color like really badly so if you wanted to switch it out and find a shader that's a little bit better i would definitely not hold it against you but i i definitely would try to find a better shader but for now i love this set let me know what you guys think and then last but not least we're going to be using these shadow broker boots so for this one i ended up going for a scientist vibe kind of and for the helmet eagle's hood with the crystalline lodestar ornament for the osmio mancy gloves is what i'm going to be using Bray Tech researchers robes is what i ended up going with for the shadow broker boots combo and then the mihalova's tail ornament i don't or i don't know what I don't know how to say that, but it's a, it's a, what is it? Year. I actually don't know which one's this one's from. Let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of shooting blanks right now. It's probably, it's, I know it's from uh, Warmind, but I don't know if it's a world drop or if it's the, uh, the Eververse set. I'm not quite sure right now, but for the shader and cryptic insignia is what I ended up going with. Cause a, I really like the white robe. It just kind of makes sense in my head. And I also love the blue color of Cryptic and Seagans, one of my favorite shaders. So this one is pretty cool. I would just probably switch out the chest piece. Honestly, it's funny, funny enough because like I, when I first saw this armor, I was like, and I think I mentioned it in the review of the, not, not the review of the video, but the review of like Mass Effect uh, armor being showcased. I did say that I was, I wanted to combine this with the Braytech Researcher robes. And now that I did, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Maybe it's cause it's clipping. Maybe it's because it's not the same white. Maybe because it's shaded differently really terribly. But I still think it looks cool. I just probably would go back and try to get a better shader for the chest piece. So that way I can get like a pure white. I feel like that would alleviate a lot of my issues with this combo. But Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think the third one is my favorite. Just because it looks amazing. amazing so much so that I actually did replace it. Because again that like space cowboy mercenary type thing was just so cool like for real it was just this is why i make these videos because sometimes i make a set and i'm like this looks so fucking fire bro that i definitely have to use this now so warlocks let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point remember that i will have a short of this video later so if you guys want to just see the armor and not me talking definitely check that out but at this point you've probably already come up to this point so me saying that really doesn't matter but i also just want you to know that i will have a short later i am currently going to be working on the loadout videos the hunter one is going to be first and i already have a lot of the armor like done i just need to go into the game and actually do the recording but uh i also have the exotic videos and yeah i have I, it's funny because like I still have a lot of content that I go through, even though I, I know a lot of other content creators are like not doing stuff right now. But like for me, I'm just like, I just, I make my own content pretty much. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I will see you guys later.